MJ, thanks. We are following breaking news right now. Three cars damaged this morning by someone throwing rocks or debris onto I-90. It happened near the Mount Baker Tunnel. John Hopperstad just got to the scene for us here. John, good morning. Uh, what do you know about what's going on here? Well, Liz, this is a disturbing trend we've seen over the last several weeks that uh, Washington State Troopers trying to put an end to where people are throwing debris onto highways around the area. And despite some arrests, we're still seeing it happen. It happened this morning, and we're right near the Mount Baker Tunnel here, the overpass. And we believe this actually may be the spot where people have been throwing debris even this morning. If you take a look, we've got a camera pointed down at what looks like pieces of concrete kind of on the side of the road down there. There are pieces of the fence that the, they used up here for construction that have been thrown down there as well. So this is a major concern and this is where troopers are saying this incident happened this morning. Now we're being told three vehicles damaged by someone throwing either rocks or debris on the westbound lanes here of I-90 again near the Mount Baker Tunnel. We do have some uh, Wash dot pictures showing police looking for suspects around the area just as this happened this morning. No injuries, no description of any suspects right now. Uh, Washington State Patrol and Seattle Police Department again searching the area. No luck yet in finding anybody, but we can tell you that a man is behind bars uh, from yesterday, from the last couple of days. Uh, police say they caught him throwing chunks of cement at cars on I-5 in Federal Way. That was just the latest arrest in a string of similar incidents that we have seen not only on I-5 but on I-90 as well where cars are being damaged as people throw pieces of cement or rocks out onto the highway. Again, this is something I talked to Trooper Rick Johnson about last week. He said it is a major concern for the state patrol right now to find the people who are responsible for this and put a stop to this because at this point it looks like we got a lot of copycat people coming out and doing this and this is a bad spot here as well right at the Mount Baker tunnel this is a spot you can walk up and if you've got enough strength you can hurl something out onto the highway here thankfully there's construction happening in this area and the actual uh, tunnel, the top of the tunnel here is blocked off from people. You can't get up to the tunnel, so nobody can actually drop anything onto cars coming out of the tunnel right now. But from this vantage point, they can certainly throw something there. And that appears to be what has happened this morning. Again, police still looking for the people responsible. If you know anything, contact the Washington State Patrol. But we're going to talk to Rick Johnson here in the next couple of minutes uh, from WSP to get more information on this. For now, we'll send it back to you.